Welcome to the next video on SQLite. In this video, I'll show how some of the built-in functions work for SQLite. We'll start off by going into an SQLite database, same one I used for a previous video. And it's already been pre-populated with a list of students and their marks. So, uh, one of the things you can do with uh, SQLite is, is the length function. So you can go, for example, select name length of the name from students. Right? So it'll give you a list of uh, names and the seven is how long the, the name is. So Li Chen is seven characters, Ramachandran is 29 characters and so on. And in fact, you can also go, if you select the name and give it a symbol LG, and then you order by the length and do it descending then you get a list of students with uh, names that get shorter and shorter. The next function is the sum function and that lets you add all the numbers in a co column. So for example select sum mark from students. Okay so 2224 is uh, all the marks for the students. Let's suppose you go, now it has to be an integer or a real. So for example, if you do select sum from the sum of all the names, it doesn't make any sense. And you're just going to get 0, 0.0. It's not a meaningful result. Let's suppose you want to see the, the mark, total marks for all the genders. So you go select, select the sum of, uh, actually it should be the sum of the marks and the gender from student. And then what you do is you say group by gender. And what it returns is 1317 is the total of all the marks for the boys, 907 is the total of all the marks for the girls. And in fact, if you add these two numbers up, you'll get 2224. The next function I'm going to look at is min, max, and average. And they do the pretty obvious things. So if you want to find the lowest marks, oops. Uh, let's go lowest mark. The lowest mark from the students. There you go. That's the lowest mark, 48. You can also go, let's see, select the lowest mark, and we'll call it M mark. And then we'll get the gender as well. So this will tell you, select the mark, the lowest mark and the gender from students, and group by gender and order by M mark. So it shows that 48 is the lowest mark for the boys and 51 is the lowest mark for girls and it's sending. Obviously you could also go descending and you'll get it in different order. Um, same for the max, so the highest mark and you get 100, no great surprise there. Um, you can also go uh, as as M mark, select the highest mark, um, and the gender from the students, and you group by gender, and you see that the boy, the highest boy got 99, and the highest girl got 100. Similarly, you can also you can see what the average mark was using the average function. The average mark was 74. You can also select average mark and gender from students and group by gender. Look at that. The boys got 73 and the girls got 75 as their mean average. Um, the next thing you can do with the uh, next function is count. I've, I've used this before, but you go, s whoops, select count star from students. Tells you how many students you got, 30 students. You could also go select count star as the count gender from students order by gender. Oops. 
Oops, I'll try that again. Select cat. That's where I blew it. It should be group by gender. <laughs> okay. Now you can see that there are 18 boys and 12 girls. Fairly straightforward. Um, the next function I'm going to talk about is the absolute value function. So you can go, you know, if, let's say uh, the average mark is select average mark from students. Just so you know, it's 74. Now let's suppose you want to see who's closest to the average. So you can go select name mark and then you select the absolute value okay now to that absolute value you pass it the average mark which is actually select average mark from students and then you subtract the mark and then you take the absolute value of it and we'll just call it delta and then you go from students order by delta ascending okay so what you're doing here is you're selecting the name the mark the absolute value of the average mark minus the students mark that tells you how close they are to the average you get an interesting result here it shows that Hamoudi Wahhabi was with the 74 was the closest to the average mark followed by Johnny e. Smith and at the bottom you have OJ Park who's the furthest from the average, and Colleen O'Byrne, who's the furthest from the average in the other direction. And that's why it's absolute value. Okay, the next function I'm going to talk about is the random. Sometimes you just need a random function. <laughs> you just go select, and um, you could also go select star from student, star random from students. And what it'll do is it'll just <laughs> give you a random number uh, along with all your student data. So if you need random numbers, you know, have some sort of a random number generator or whatever, you can, or pseudo random number generator, you can use that from SQLite. Finally, in SQLite, there's always somebody who says, can you take the stuff out of the database and put it into a comma separated list? And yes, you can. There's a special function in SQLite for that. Is select group underscore concat name from students. So group concat is you concatenate the group, name is the field you're picking from, and the default separator, as you notice, is the comma. If you don't like that one, you can always go and you can say, for example, I'll use the a bar, as SQLite does often. And you'll notice now all the results are separated by bars. Um, Interestingly, if you just want to, uh, if you want to get a uh, a list of uh, girls and boys, you can go select group concat name and gender from the students, and then order by gender. Oh, sorry, um, not order by; it's group by. Right. And that's that's pretty well it. You just uh, oops. You group by gender, and now you have a list of boys followed by a list of girls. So these are the useful functions in SQLite. There are more, um, but for the purposes of many queries that you'll run, these are sufficient. And that concludes this video on SQLite functions.